What's going on, y'all? Finally, 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 the conclusion to Bad Girls Club 12 Chicago because I'm over it. It starts off where it ended last week with the fight between, you know, Britt and Jada. You know, Britt got her hair pulled out. The only reason why I knew this because Britt said, can I get my hair back? I was like, okay, bitch. Well, Jada did something, you know, and Jada still be coming out of this shit unscathed. And I'm like, this a little bitch. Y'all can't fuck this little hoe up. Y'all done fought this hoe 15,000 times and she still pops back up. Y'all not doing it right. Y'all not doing it right because y'all not really trying to fight. Because if you was really trying to fight... Fuck the security, y'all would have had them bitches down there until the fact that that hoe can't get up by herself. All right? No. But then Lauren wants to get into it. And then Raisha, I think, got into it. And I'm like, so y'all just going to jump her? It ain't had shit to do with you, so y'all just going to jump her? I don't give a fuck. I hate people that do stupid shit like that. So, you know, fuck all that. Um, Jada going to back. She was like, fuck you, bitch. I don't give a fuck. You ain't going to be shit after this. I was broke when I came. I'm going to be broke when I left. I was homeless when I came. I'm homeless now. You ain't no better. I was like, well, Jada was keeping it all the way 100 real with that shit. I was like, cool, because truth be told, they don't get paid that much just to look. I know some shit, all right? And they don't get paid that much on this show, all right? Y'all go up on this shit to to make appearances, um, um to thinking that you're going to get something out of it, they don't get paid that much to be on this show, okay? And then most of the buck of the money that they make is after the show when they do appearances and shit at clubs and stuff. They don't get paid that much on this show from doing this season. That's what I've been told from people who actually work on the show. That's, I'm just going to put it like that. So if that's what you want to do to get on Bad Girls Club, you might as well get your ass on motherfucking 9 to 5 because you better off that way. I'm just saying. But, um, you know, so... <sighs> Brett sit down there, they talking about her anger issues and, you know, Alex talking about, here's an anger voucher. It's like, you should have took the advice from Lauren and all this stuff. And Brett was coming at, um, Slim, let's get on the far, on the thing that you talk about. I was in, um, dumb, you know, I'm less intelligent. I'm like, bitch, you are, you're lame as fuck. And then you still holding up that sign where Delilah was up there and my charger is fucking up my bad job. You holding up the sign, they say lame and lie. Bitch, that's all to you, okay? So, girl, shut the fuck up. But when Delilah came, her ass out there, Delilah was fucking drunk. You can't tell me. I just took a nap. <laughs> Look, I can't, help, I can't stand Delilah, but that shit was hilarious to me. That shit was fucking hilarious. Now, before I get into this fight, because... Britt kind of got her ass whooped a little bit. I don't know. Look, Britt got attacked. <laughs> Pause. Because I know y'all be leaving links up in the um um thing about the interviews that uh Wesley be doing on A Connection TV. Yes, I know. And yes, I do watch. So you don't need to leave the links or whatever. But if y'all want to get some up-to-date news, if y'all really into Bad Girls Club like that, Go follow A Connection TV. He does all those interviews with the Bad Girl Club, the Bad Girls, and all that. And yesterday he put up an interview with Blue. Yesterday or the day before, either way, this week. Um, and then today he has a two-hour interview up there with Red. And bitch, I was sitting here like, hmm, I still don't really like you, and I still don't really vibe with you no more because you just too fucking much. But she was talking sense in the interview, and then she let us in on some stuff like. A whole bunch of stuff is editing, and from what she was saying, and even from what Blue is saying, I do hate the way that they edit out stuff, and it be leaving the um, audience hanging and making us think that, oh, they did this shit to be malicious, when in actuality, they won't it wasn't even that, um, that's not what it was about. You know, they edit stuff to make it seem to, to ramp up the drama. And so, with this scene where <laughs> they talking to Delilah, Delilah lying about how, you know... She didn't say nothing bad to them when they came into the house. And she was like, I said she was beautiful. You know, and I was like, girl. <laughs> it was just so funny because she was drunk and she couldn't even have. I just took a nap. I just took a nap. 
okay? And it was like, bitch, you lied. You was talking about us. You was calling us ghetto this long. You was calling us ghetto. And then you was talking about my roots not being done. And it was like, girl, you even said that she didn't like Beyonce. I said, bitch, I knew she was drunk then when she said that. I said, what? Oh, what? Bitch, what? You know? And then... She was like, you know, Tanisha trying to get in on it, and it was like, y'all gonna make up, and Britt, Britt was like, fuck her, but then it was like, you gonna give me a, I just wanna give you a hug, Britt. Can we give a hug? No, just give me a high five or whatever. And she goes over there, I'm thinking she fit to give a hug, but she went over there and proceeds to try to whoop uh, Britt's ass. Now, this is where that interview with uh, Red comes in that Wesley just did, and she said that you know, when she was talking to Asia or whatever the fuck is, she said, Asia said, was conversing with Delilah. And Delilah had literally told Asia, you know, even though she, I'm, um, I'm going to fight her. I'm going to go over there and try to fight her or whatever. I'm going to act like I'm going to give her a hug but or a high five, but I'm going to go over there and I'm going to fight her. And that's exactly what happened. I'm sitting here like, damn, that's fucked up because ain't nobody see that shit coming. Pause. <clears throat> I heard the little ramifications and rumors, ramifications, bitch, excuse my words, you know, um, rumors and shit about the bad girls, bad boys clubs, child, no, no, and no shade, but who the fuck gonna be on there, let's, let's be honest, who already look at bad girls club, who already look at it, young girls and gay young boys. Let's be honest. And a very, very few straight males. I'm not fin y'all finna like well, I just don't see any straight males being on no bad girl bad boys club. And then if it, if that's the case and we're gonna have a whole bunch of um gay boys on it, I mean no shade to my gays because you know that's my community or whatever, but we already got the bad girls club. I'm just saying it just no. I'm really and then if it is gonna be all gay boys, what if it's all gay boys or whatever, you know, just because it is two thousand fourteen and they had a relationships and all that stuff. Is America or people really going to be tuning in to see two dudes kissing and all that? I'm just saying it's a double stand, okay? We can kick it with two girls doing some shit like that. But when they get those, people want to get all up in their feelings and shit. That's how I'm looking at it. So, you know, Delilah did try to... Uh, no, she literally... She tried to... I don't know what her drunk ass aim was. Like, girl, if you go fight somebody, be clear mind so you can land them punches and you can stand up on your own for a few minutes. Okay? Not a couple of seconds. Because, bitch, the security grabbed her ass. And I was like, what type of sloppy ass shit was this, Delilah? I mean, for you, A for effort. But it was still bitch. But, you know, it, it is the bad girls club, so be prepared for anything. And Britt didn't really get touched. And I was like, ugh, I'm mad because Britt didn't really get touched. But, um, you know, they haul her ass off the stage. And then they talking to Britt. No, well, they talking about Delilah and all that shit. And they said they going to bring Jada back out. They was like, don't nobody touch her. Don't nobody say nothing. Yada, yada, yada. D -d Jada back there talking to the producer, whoever the fuck it is, who trying to egg her on to come back onto the show. She was like, I got to be the dumbest bitch up in here to come up out here when all these hoes don't like me. Just the same how it was in the house. And what did I think that it was going to be any different out here? Now you want me to go back out there? So what? So Red can whip my ass too? Or try to whip my ass? Look, and she did have her face. She was well to up and if you look at um the interview with wesley with blue she said that blue said she only hit her once and that was when um she hit her in the face so i think blue probably was the only one that really landed a punch or something i don't know i don't fucking know go look at the interview because when that diamond and asia fought, fought you know and jada got involved blue was like she hit her to get her away because not to fight her but just to get her fucking away and that i guess that's why her face was whatever she had a little bump bump right there it was a little swole but she did come out there change some clothes she took that motherfucking dress with the collar off and then she put on some pants i was like all right you came how you should have came prepared you know and uh she was like i'm back out here i'm back out here and what they was like brick what the fuck was your problem with jada oh because she lied you know because her accent changed and all this changed and i'm sitting here like Really, Britt? 
You still sitting here on this fucking stage and you have yet to say a real reason why you don't like this girl. Okay? And they was calling your ass out, talking about some if Tanisha not Tanisha, if um if Red didn't like a bitch, then you didn't like a bitch. That's the only reason when it started. And bitch, you are fucking following. I don't give a shit what nobody said, and I don't give a shit about fucking editing. You ain't even proved yourself on this shit yet. Okay, you sitting there talking big or trying to talk big. All you do is fucking talk. You had prime opportunity to fight Jada in the house. All right now you get on this show and you trying to prove what prove what that you can back up what you speak bitch it's too fucking late okay we don't give a fuck no more use a weak bitch and then you want to put up a sign saying lame and lie lame and all this stuff for jada bitch you lame you the lamest bitch out of the house because when your fucking ass left we didn't even know and care okay we didn't even remember when you was there we didn't fucking remember either all right so girl sit down and go somewhere disrespecting the motherfucking plaid like that Slap your ass. Look. That little scene with Laura in that, um, Laura in the dress room. You know, with Britt, it was just like, you know, she just, and I was just like, girl, hush, save it for the stage. Because we don't need to see this behind the scenes with you right now. And I fucking love how Jada stood up for her motherfucking self to Brent and was like, bitch, you ain't even motherfucking relevant. And she was... And see, you could tell Jada ain't had no beef with nobody because she kept on saying that shit. Brit just be making her stuff. And, and Jada was telling her ass to fuck off and she ain't really had no comeback for it. Red comes out, you know. So then they show her little slash or whatever the fuck. Then they get into, you know, because she owning up to the fact that she heard that they was calling her asterisks and shit. And, you know, I will say I still don't fuck with the bitch. But from seeing her on, on the show and then seeing that interview, she is, you could tell that she kind of like trying to change or whatever. And, and she got a different perspective on shit. But I still don't rogue with the bitch. But, because she just does, she just not my type of people. She just do too fucking much. But, you know, you trying to say somebody is an actress and all this stuff. And like she said in the interview, the only bitch that actually told her what it was was Asia, I think. And, you know, I think Lauren... But or one of them, Asia or somebody else, actually told her shit about herself, you know. And the fact that you supposed to be her friend, Blue and Lauren, y'all sitting there saying that she is an actress or whatever, but y'all can never say that shit to her face. And then talking about something, I don't know if I was going to say it to your face, if this was who I was going to get, was you going to be acting and all this shit. Like, what type of fucking excuse is that? Okay, just talk to the bitch, all right? You can go off camera and talk to the hoe. Like, come on, I ain't, I ain't got time for that. All this fake shit, but yet you want to call everybody else fake. You want to call Jada fake. You want to call Slim fake. All you hoes doing fake ass shit throughout this whole damn season. Every last one of y'all. So let's be fucking clear on that. So, um, you know, they talking about that shit. Then they talk about Jada and Red's relationship and lack thereof and why they didn't like each other. And yada, 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 the same redundant ass bullshit. Red don't really know, you know. And then they, Red saying that Jada was the one coming on to her. And, you know, they showed the clip about her, you know, being in the bed with Jada. I just want to lie with you. Bitch, that was when I was over Red, right there and there. She, she crushed my heart when I heard, literally. She crushed my heart when she did that shit. And then I was like, girl, you doing too much. And I was liking you at first, but now, it was like, mm-mm. That kind of turned me off. But then... Tanisha had the audacity. She had the monstrosity of an audacity to sit her ass down there and say, bitch, when you first came in, I thought you was cool, but you came in like a big, fat bully. I said, wait a minute, girl, did you look at yourself in the motherfucking mirror? Okay, because look, let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. She was like, you don't beat that little girl. She was like, I don't give a fuck if you got a big ass mouth. That sounds like, you know, you talking words of a three-ton person, bitch, in the streets, you get your ass whooped like that. And I feel what Red said. If you that little bitch and you got all that motherfucking mouth, be able to back that shit up. Size don't fucking matter when you in the hood. I'm just telling you that shit, too. And Red called her out on that shit, too. Bitch, was the bitch that you fought? Was she a big bitch, too? No, she was a skinny bitch. She was like, Tanisha. She was my same height. So the fuck what? Jada and Red was the same height too. So it is what it is. But I still wasn't here for uh, Red trying to fight Jada. Jada was like, but you didn't even do that then. I carried my unscathed. Mind you, her daddy in the audience blew mama in the audience. And I'm just like, 
y'all showing y'all ass. So at the very end of the episode, we'll close out that or well this reunion. Um, Laura, the life coach, comes out and basically was talking about how, you know, some people received the information that she was given, the help that she was given. Some people didn't. Britt said that she wished she would have actually, you know, listened to what she said and let her in because she actually liked her. Um, okay, we know we saw the biggest success story was with Red, you know, when her father and he spoke on it and basically saying they both got some issues that they need to work on and, 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 and he won't grant babies. And then, you know, Asia was seeing how her and her family are now able to sit down and talk to one another without violently, you know, erupting at each other. And I was like, okay, that's good. And, you know, Lawrence, her personality changed in the house and, you know, she wasn't blowing up at everybody so much, so much. So, I guess. And, um, you know, they spoke to Blue Mama. Not Blue. Yeah, Blue. Jonica Blue. Okay. They spoke to her mama about the gay thing. And she was like, you know, what did you first think about it? She was like, I love you, baby. But I was shocked. And then Blue was like, you know, quit playing. You weren't shocked. She was like, yes, I was. Because of the simple fact that she has only two daughters. And just two months prior, her other daughter told her that she was gay. And, you know, she was like, I'm, I'm, I I accept their lifestyle, but, you know, it hurts because it's like, do I, am I going to ever get grandkids and, and things of that matter? And Laura was telling her, you know, it's okay to feel this way. You have your right to feel this way, but as long as you still love and support your kids, that's fine. And let me just tell you this, Blue Mama, and Jonica claims that she's bisexual, okay? And there is still a possibility just because a person said that they're gay. You will still get grandkids if that's really what they want. And some people still can't get biological grandkids, okay? You know, and there's still a strong possibility because after looking at that, um, John, I don't know, John confuses me a little bit, but, you know, she just goes with whatever she wants. So, you know, you still got a possibility. You don't need to hold out hope about, you know, not getting grandkids. But that was basically the end of the episode, the season, and they all claim that they'll come back and do it again. Even blue, uh, slim. But it is what it is. I will watch Redemption. I think that's season thirteen. And depending on how I roll with it, I'm, I you you can expect a review from it. But um, yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel about the whole season and the whole the whole season <laughs> as a whole. And how y'all felt about the reunion. If you ask me, the reunion it didn't need to be three parts. It didn't even need to be two parts. It was kind of boring. I'm just going to say that. this, this, Especially this last part, I was over it. But y'all tell me how y'all feel. And I'll see y'all later. Peace.